In this video, we're going to seek to combine um, the two sections that we've already done from this chapter. How do we solve one and two step equations um, when they involve some things I need to simplify first? So what I'm going to look at, for example, is a problem such as 3x minus 6 plus x is equal to 10. Okay. The first thing I need to do before I can do anything else or start moving stuff around is to simplify each side. So when I look at 10, I can't do anything with the 10. But over here on the left side, I have a 3x plus x, which combines to give me 4x and then I have the minus 6 is equal to 10. So at this point, it becomes a normal two-step equation. So I'm going to use the steps I did before, where I'm going to add 6 to both sides. Okay, negative 6 plus 6 cancels out, leaving me with 4x. 10 plus 6 is going to be 16. Now a normal one-step, where I'm going to divide by 4 and I'm going to end up with x is going to equal 16 divided by 4, which is 4. And then I can always go back and check. What's 3 times 4 minus 6 plus 4? 3 times 4 is 12 minus 6 plus 4. 12 minus 6 is 6 plus 4 is equal to 10, so my answer checks. This can also, um, I can also use the jeopardy at times where I have something like 5 times the quantity x minus 2 plus 4x is equal to 12 plus 5 maybe. Okay. The very first thing before I can do anything else is I need to simplify. Well, 12 plus 5 is going to give me 17. Okay. On the right hand or the left hand side, before I can do anything else, I need to distribute first. So 5 times x is 5x. Five, 5 times 2 is 10 plus then 4x. So then my next step will be to combine like terms. I get 5x plus 4x is 9x. I keep the minus 10 is equal to 17. So at this point, I have a normal two-step equation. Add 10 to both sides. Let's cancel. Leave me with 9x is going to equal 27. Divide by 9, divide by 9. My x is going to equal 3. So I come up with my solution. Once again, I can check. What's 5 times the quantity 3 minus 2 plus 4 times 3? 3 minus 2 is 1, so 5 times 1 plus 4 times 3, which is 12. 5 times 1 is 5. 4 plus 3, as I said, is 12. 5 plus 12 is 17. And I knew on my right-hand side here is equal to 17, so this indeed checks. So hopefully this has been helpful. Hopefully this has also helped you to see why we learned how to solve one- and two-step equations first, and then why we went on to how do we solve um, how do we simplify expressions, because that was really the foundation for doing this. But what you'll notice is that up here, I didn't start moving stuff from side to side until I had variable and a number and one number. So you want to get it down till it's simplified to this point before I start, you know, adding something to both sides or subtracting. And then once I have stuff added and subtracted, that's when I'm going to start dividing.